so and then I went to Puerto Rico and yeah went, what was it like um working there because they're known like in my experience there they screwed around with my pay a lot so I'm just no, wondering I had a flat guarantee and... but I got lucky what what it was it was uh, they give me five grants for three days sometimes two days that's after what's his name got killed Bro, oh they were desperate for oh, American they couldn't talent get nobody. they kind of boycott you know a lot of guys didn't want to go and I knew uh what's his name man Bruiser Brody? No, no, the guy. That oh, Jose in. Gonzalez. No, oh, Carlos Colon. Carlos, Sorry. I knew him from way back. Yeah, he even worked Montreal. I had yeah. met him years. He started ago. in Canada, right? He did. I uh, think so, but I had yeah. met him a bunch, and I had worked for him before. Okay. You know, and I knew him real well. And he's a good guy. I never had a problem with him, and uh, he called me, and I said, "Well, I, I don't, you know, it's dangerous." You know, he was going to give me the belt, which he did. And you know, and all that crap. And I said, Man, I need some money. And I said, I can't go all week. You know, weekend, because I was flying. I got a flying job. And it was real slow, because they were just starting. Right. So everything worked out perfect. That would have been 91, I think. So, or beginning of 92. So I told the company I was flying for, and I said, it's slow. And I said, especially on the weekend, I said, I need to take Friday, Saturday. And you know, come back Sunday or, or Monday morning. So I did that, you know, and they worked out perfect with me. And they paid me, you know, they paid my hotel, they paid everything. He was real good, but that didn't last very long. Uh, three months, maybe four months. I can't remember uh, because uh, they got audited. They got busted by the IRS. You know, not paying taxes or something. I don't know the details at all, but uh, he called me and he, he, he what was the other guy that was paying? Victor Jovica. That's it, yeah. He said, man, he said, we wish you could do it for less and less. And then I said, no, no, I quit. I, I, it was dangerous, man. One night I had a bottle hit the post as I was stepping my head out. <laughs> oh, if I would have been for that post, it would have been. <laughs> was, yeah. uh, was Brody's Killer still the booker at that time? Yeah. I know he remained. Yeah. Uh, what, what was it like, because it was so soon after the murder, like to be there and Obviously, you probably have to shake his hand and take. And, uh, well, I didn't care I, yeah. because I don't know the story I heard. I heard two stories, yeah. and it's not right to stab somebody or kill anybody. And I'm not taking sides, but I was around Brody. He flew in my airplane with me. I was around him a lot. You intimidate the wrong person, you know, shoving around, you know, and you're going to a different, you know, you you're not home there. You know, the guy never went to jail, so that tells you something. Yeah. You know, and supposedly he, there was a lot of intimidation, and the guy was a little guy. Yeah. You know what happened? I, w I wouldn't do that to anybody and scare the shit out of a little guy because and, uh, supposedly he had a towel wrapped around his hand, went into the shower, called him in, and, you know, just, uh, which is not right, but. That's what I heard, and then uh, there was quite a few guys. Uh, Tony Atlas was there. They boycotted, and a lot of guys just went home. But you got along with Brody, and your dealings with him, obviously. Oh he yeah, yeah. I know. He flew with me. Him and uh, what was the other guy? Uh, Stan Hansen. No, he was a he was a booker too, and a wrestler. Oh, Fritz von Erich. No. <sighs> but yeah, he so he. In other words, but uh, Brody, was, no uh, Brody was. But I saw him do stuff that you know. Uh, he was a pushy guy. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it if it didn't go his way, yeah. you know. Is but, it true that he would, if he showed up and he saw it was a good house, he would ask for more money? I don't money know. Yeah. I never was around him that much. I was early. That's when I was working for Watts. You know, back in '85. Right. That's where he was there. And Buck Robley. Oh, that Buck Robley. Okay. Buck yeah, Robley. They were buddies. Yeah. It's funny how the computer's real slow. <laughs> uh, that's fine.